new Charlie Hebdo magazine sold out. Just take a look at some of the lines to get the first edition to hit the stands since the attack on the satirical publication. Two million more will be printed due to worldwide demand. The new cover, which CNN has decided not to show, depicts a teary-eyed Prophet Muhammad holding a sign that says, I am Charlie. The picture is accompanied by the words, all is forgiven. So let's talk more about this by Imam Yaha Ibrahim. He's the Islamic chaplain at the University of Western Australia and head of Islamic studies at Langford Islamic College. I'm also joined by CNN religion editor Daniel Burke. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thanks for being here. Imam, do you find the new cover of the Charlie Hebdo magazine um, blasphemous? I, I think that the answer to that really isn't about the cover itself. It's more about the sentiment that it carries. And I think for Muslims, the caricature itself is not really the issue. It's that someone knows that it could be offensive to you and they proceed to seek to offend you. And I think that's what Muslims really find as a sore point in the issue. Uh, the cartoonist who drew the cover, and I'll pose this question to you, Daniel, he says the cover indicated Muhammad has become a character in spite of himself because there are people who speak on his behalf. Is he right? Oh, certainly. I mean, that's true of any religious figure. You know, that's true of Jesus, that's true of Buddha, uh, that's true of Muhammad as well. And I think that what you see going on here is some scholars have said kind of almost a reverse form of idolatry that the prohibition of showing Prophet Muhammad becomes almost a religious belief in itself and that and that can turn into a violent uh, religious belief, uh, which is a perversion of what the original intention was. You know, Muhammad said, don't depict me because he wanted all the focus to be on God and not particularly on the messenger. Interesting. So in Turkey, Imam, um, they banned access I mean, you can't look at pictures of Charlie Hebdo anywhere, even on the internet. Um, Turkish officials say the cover is provocative and it may incite more violence. Do you think that's true? I, I think the fact that also you at CNN just mentioned that you, you decided also not to, not to publish it, not to display it, is, is, is quite telling. And I think it is, you know, a source of sensitivity for many people. Now, for, of course, for us as Muslims, you know, we're about a diverse and plural uh, expression of faith. And one of the key issues that is really important to understand is that Muslims are not Islam. And there is a, a rainbow of Muslims that have a, a variety of cultural expressions of Islam in their ethnicities and languages and cultures. Uh, but the, the thing that draws us together as Muslims who practice Islam is the belief in, the, in, in, in one God and that we believe that he sends messengers and prophets and from them uh, to us the finality is Muhammad. So there's this conglomerate of people that come together from different expressions and therefore you find that there would be different nuances amongst the societies that you interact with. And because I wouldn't be able to comment directly on what with what is ongoing in Turkey, I can speak as a Western Muslim, uh, you know, someone who uh, was born and raised in Canada and now currently lives in Australia, uh, happily in, in harmony with everyone around me. I can tell you that, you know, for us as Muslims, uh, the issue really isn't about the caricature. It's that we want people to respect us for who we are and to respect the, the red lines, I guess, or the sensitivities that we have, as, as you on your show have done. And I think you should be applauded for that. So, so then I'll ask this question. Um, Muslims in France, um, they don't feel accepted by the country. Um, they feel that many racist acts are carried out against them. Um, is the anger within France Paris coming from that and not really religion. You know what, Carol, that's a really excellent point. I think it, it's kind of like what we saw in Ferguson, that this was kind of a, in some way, the, the tinder that lit the spark, but the embers were already burning. There is a prevailing feeling in France among many Muslims that they are not treated as part of the state at large. France has a very proud, very long secular history, and it's not only done the best of, of kind of integrating any of its religious minorities, uh, French Muslims included. And so there's a feeling there that, that Muslims may be bullied, that they may be pushed to the side. There were, they passed a law recently that, that banned the full face veil, which many Muslims took as an affront because it's a religious belief. And if you really 
you really respect uh, the freedom of expression, the freedom of belief, then, then why wouldn't they be allowed to use you know, the full face veil? So I think you're really touching on something really deep and really large there, Carol. Thank you so much. I wish we could go on, but I have to leave it there. Imam Ibrahim.